All right guys, brand new in the box, we have the Ode Pro KL41 Plus. And this is essentially a kit that's gonna give you an IR, 850 LED module, a green LED module, a red module, and then a visible white light module. So we're gonna go ahead, open it up, show you what came in this kit, and then test it out for you guys. Stay tuned. So I feel like you really can't start a review without diving into some of the specs. And here's some of them right off the box. So your first thing that you'll notice and probably be curious in is the range of the beam that this thing can throw. So they're claiming 420 yards for white light, 240 yards for the red light, and then 300 yards for the green light, and no range indicated on the IR850, but I'll go ahead and test it with some of the night vision units that I have and see how far it lets us illuminate. Now, another thing that you may be curious is the weight. This is in grams, 230 grams, translate to roughly half a pound. So a fairly lightweight unit, and of course it's got LEDs, so you should expect some decent longevity out of the heads themselves. But let's go ahead and see how they hold up and if these specs right here are accurate. So when you open the box, this is exactly what to expect as far as what comes inside. There's quite a bit of things going on here, so I'm gonna try to get through them as quickly as I can. First things first, you have the light itself. Now it comes with the white light head installed as well as just your standard clicky end cap and a lanyard in place as well. You also get a different end cap that would be more for if you use it with some kind of rifle. It's got the end of the flashlight that attaches to some pretty durable feeling wire. You've got a little bit of slack in there for you to kind of position it where you want on your rifle. And then you have a nice tactile pressure pad with some Velcro adhesive already in place. As mentioned before, you get your green lamp, the infrared lamp, and the red lamp. A two battery charger, and this does have LED indicators to let you know when the batteries are done charging. Two rechargeable 18650 size batteries that are 3000 mAh. A flashlight to scope mount. And then another kind of interesting mount that I want to take a closer look for you guys to kind of explain what it is. Pretty clearly you can tell that this is about the diameter of your flashlight, but then you got this mount right here and this is actually for attaching to a barrel. So this would be useful on something like a hunting shotgun or possibly even a home defense shotgun that you don't really have any rail space to attach it to. But you can also see right here, there's a little weaver rail built into this mount, the barrel mount, to where this ring can also go directly to a quad or pick and tinny rail of whatever kind of firearm you're trying to mount your light to. So there's some versatility in this mount as well. The needed Allen wrench, not one, but two sets of extra O-rings for your flashlight a simple manual, and your basic product warranty information. Okay, so real quick, I wanted to get into the anatomy of the KL41 Plus flashlight so that you kind of understand how it works and what really all you get with the kit. So you have your flashlight body itself, and then you can choose what kind of tail cap you want. So again, you just have your standard clicky tail cap if you want it to be a handheld flashlight, or if you just didn't want this hanging on whatever hunting rifle setup you have, or you can go ahead and use your remote switch. Then you can select what kind of LED module you want. So right here I have white, green, this is red, and actually my red unit was not marked. I'm not sure if that is unique to my kit or if, uh, if that's just the way these come. You also have your IR850 head as well. So if you wanna just use it for white output, you'll simply attach the white LED head. You'll then take the reflector throw that on and these all do have o-ring seals guys and then the last step you want to do is insert your battery before putting on your selected tail cap because you don't want to screw up the springs on your led output and they kindly remind you on all of your led output modules to remove the battery before installing your led module so just make sure you do it in this order guys and then with everything all snug your light works. Now there are a couple settings on this unit as well. So we have bright, strobe, a slow strobe, and then you have a low power as well. And here are those modes again from the other side of the flashlight. And it's really hard with videos like these guys because the camera just doesn't do it justice, but hopefully you can tell 
just by looking at this. This flashlight is just stupid bright. The camera literally cannot handle it. So right out the gate, guys, that is a whole lot of stuff to be included in one package. And it kind of leaves the question, obviously, is it worth it? Is it too good to be true? How well does it perform? And how well does it hold up? Well, as always, guys, there's only one way to find out. So let's go ahead and get into this one. Now, even if this light has the brightest throw I've ever seen, it's not really worth a whole lot if it can't hold up to being mounted to a firearm. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the testing off with mounting it to my AK. So not only is this a test to see how well the flashlight holds up to repeated recoil, but the provided mount as well. And thanks to the variety of tail caps provided, I was able to set it up in an ergonomic and comfortable manner to myself. And so off to the range I went with my KL41 Plus mounted with the provided pick and tenny mount to my AK, I began sending some lead down range. And so I shot. And then I shot some more. And then I shot even more. And at the end, the light was still fully functioning and the mount was still rock solid. So with me now having faith in the light's durability, I went ahead and proceeded with testing its performance at night. For a general comparison, I fired up the strongest flashlight that I currently own, which is right at a thousand lumens. You can see that it has a decent amount of spill and you can somewhat make out the gate that's at 120 yards away. However, when I switch over to the KL41 Plus, the beam is much more focused like a spotlight and the gate is a lot more lit up. Again, this is exactly 120 yards away at night. As you can see, the KL41 Plus performs best when used as a spotlight, which is definitely its intended purpose to be used as a hunting aid to illuminate your target at various distances at night. The next best was definitely the green light. Now this thing still illuminated very, very well at 120 yards as shown here. And I was able to identify things as far as 250 yards away. However, the camera just won't do it justice. So you're gonna have to take my word for it. But the green light was also incredibly strong and focused. Now where the red light wasn't nearly as bright as the green light, it still definitely gets the job done. As you can see, the gate that's 120 yards away is fully illuminated and to the naked eye, you could see every little detail. The camera really doesn't do it justice here especially when trying to test it out further. Once again, the red light was able to let me positively identify things as far as 250 yards away at night with no moon or stars. Now, while walking around with the night vision optic to get some test footage for you guys at night, I happened to find a nice group of deer to volunteer for some different ranges. So as you can see, as far as 150 yards and then pushing it out as far as 200 yards, your target is still easily visible and identifiable with the infrared illumination head. So for a little bit of contrast, I also had some fog move in on me while I was testing out this light. So just to show you guys the worst case scenario performance, here's some footage while testing the different outputs in heavy fog. Now keep in mind that this is going to severely limit the range of this flashlight. However, out to 150 yards with each head, I could still identify a fence post. As to be expected, the IR was the most affected by the fog, but you could still identify your target. All in all, for the money, I think this is an extremely versatile light. It comes with all the accessories needed to set it up in a variety of options. I definitely think this is worth the money and has given me no reasons to think otherwise. Now, I wouldn't take something like this to war or a battlefield by any means, but for the purposes of hunting, I think it's gonna be more than durable and adequate for the job. This light is definitely the brightest handheld light that I own. It blew away my 1000 lumen flashlight that has currently been the strongest that I own to date. But although I feel that the provided pick and tinny mount is the weakest link in this entire package, it was still able to hold up to my AK and the little bit of abuse that I put it through. All right guys, so that's about it for the KL41 Plus by Ode Pro. If you're interested in picking one up for yourself, check out the link in the description below. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch this video and stopping by for my ranch. And as always, have a good one.